오빤 강남 스타. 유튜브 Gamers, it's me, Louis slash Alux, and uh, so today was my first day of school slash class, and I decided to uh, sort of, sort of, you know, just give a little update on how my day went while doing some livid farm. So basically, um, I got to school and I only had two classes today, and my friend Mario, who most of you guys know, actually uh, picked me up this morning, and he picked me up at around uh, roughly eight. 20, which actually I told him to come by like 8 o'clock because it would take a while to drive to school, but of course, you know us guys, we never listen, so we left my house at around like 8.20, we got to school at like 8.50, which was totally fine because our class started at like 8 o'clock, 8.55-ish, so when we got in there, I was really happy because we actually had a class right next to each other, so it was really cool, and after that class ends, we have a three-hour break, the same exact three-hour break, so I'll get onto that a little bit later. Um... And then afterwards, I, uh, in my class, it was really funny, my professor was really hilarious, and, um, as soon as he walks in, like, it's really, really funny story, he walks in, and, like, um, not to be, like, racist or anything, but, I mean, the vast, the, de the, the demo, the demography, the demographics, there we go, the demographics of my class was, like, 50% dark-skinned, I don't want to say black, because I wanted somebody to go, oh, you're racist, anyways, um, like, uh, Mr. Person in the last video, oh, you racist piece of shit, oh, your true colors are coming out. Anyways, so, um, uh, so, like, so, like, the, the demographics of my class, like, 50% of them were all dark-skinned. It was, a uh, intro to literature, which was, um, it's, like, an introduction to literature class to reading and stuff, and my professor comes in, these, like, a bu these bunch of black girls in the back of the room, oh, sorry, I said, oh, my god, uh, these bunch of dark-skinned chicks in the back of the room said, like, oh, hey, Professor Andy, or whatever his name was, he immediately looks, he goes, Oh fuck. He leaves the room, he shuts the door, and everybody was looking like, what just happened? And we start laughing, just because we don't even know. He walks back in and he goes, damn it, I'm in the right room. And then they were like, oh, professor, you know you love us. And he's like, oh, this, this is, he's like, oh, this is like my fourth semester with you guys in a row. And they were like, it's because we love you, professor, and all this stuff. But he was a really nice guy, though. He was, he's like a skinny white dude. And, um, he's, a uh, <clears throat> he, he was really nice though like that's pretty much it and he's he, he like actually he's like a troll teacher which i really love because when he walked in he was just like oh i'm sorry to tell you guys this and i don't know how to break it to you but i don't like reading from the textbook so we're we're not going to use the textbook a lot and i know a lot of you enjoy writing and reading a lot but we're not going to have any research papers or any papers to type and i'm really sorry for that and 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 like i in my head i was like oh my god this is the greatest class ever and he's like oh we're gonna have our three tests and uh the first two you can read do if you mess up your grade you can redo it and if you get a higher grade then i'll take the higher grade and all this stuff so i was just like wow this is going to be an easy a class even though i didn't think about it i thought the class was going to be really hard because it's introduction to literature and i thought that was difficult but apparently i was lucky and i got the nice teacher which i'm really thankful for and then after that class i had like a uh, actually, before I finished the class, he was talking about, like, oh, I have a Shakespearean class, uh, and I need more people to attend the class, so if, if any of you guys want information on that, and I asked for information on it and stuff, but what I'm gonna do is, um, next semester, I have, like, I'm only gonna be taking, like, three classes, because, like, I only have, like, three classes left to take to finish my, uh, credits for, uh, my college, and then I transfer out. But, um, I can't have only three classes or else my financial aid won't count because I need over nine credits in order for my financial aid to count. So, if I need extra classes, I'm probably going to take his class, like the one that he was talking about today, because, you know, guys, Victoria's an actor, so, um, I'll be able to do, uh... I'll, if we're doing a play, the guy's all like, oh, Shakespearean class, and she, like, knows all of Shakespeare's 35 plays, like, in the back of her hand, so she'll be able to tell me what all of them are, so I could have another easy A, lol, lol. And then, um, after that, it was, like, a three-hour break. I went out with, um, my friend Mario to his house. I was gonna take a picture of his computer. I don't know if you guys want me to take a picture of that, and I could show it to you. It's, he got a gaming computer. It's, like, he paid like a thousand five hundred dollars for his computer, and it, he has two two uh, twenty four inch screens on it. So he has a dull screen computer with twenty four inches, and this computer is like humongous, and it lights up red, and it has LED lights on it, and all this junk. And he was playing like he was playing um Guild Wars on the left monitor, and on the right monitor he was on Facebook, and I was just so jealous of his computer. It was really epic. And then we went out to eat and junk, and then when we finished eating, we went to, uh, back to school after a three-hour break. We spent three hours in his, like, we spent two hours in his house, like, in his room, just playing games on his amazing computer. Like, oh my god, guys, it was really cool. 
And then, um, I had my history class, and the funniest part of my history class is, um, whoa, lag? Uh, the funniest part of my history class was my professor was, like, she looked like she was going to be a mean professor when I walked in, because she had, like, a like, angry face when she was, like, getting all the papers out, but then all of a sudden she was really nice, and then she was just like, hi, everybody, my name is Dr. Something, and she was really, really nice and chill, and then, um... She, but the funniest, funniest part was she forced us, like, eventually, like, into the class. She was like, well, she's like, well, I know how embarrassing, I'm how embarrassing and how shy some people are, and I don't want to tell anybody to uh, come into the front of the classroom and talk and say who they are and what their major is, so I'm gonna make you guys find a partner, I'm gonna make you guys get friends and find somebody to talk to and exchange information, get to know one another, that way if, like, one of you guys are absent or something, you, could, you can contact your friend. So I was just like, oh dear, I'm forced to be social now, and, um... I, I decided to be, like, the kid who didn't do anything. Well, not kid, I'm a man. Uh, I decided to be the one guy who just didn't find a partner, because it actually, there was 35 students, so it was uneven numbers, so I waited till like, everybody found somebody, so that, like, I, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do anything, but then my professor was like, what's wrong? And I said, oh, um, there's an, un it's an odd number of students, so, I mean, everybody already has a partner, so she was like, oh, let me just find you somebody, and then, like, these two girls next to me were like, oh, no, uh, he can join our group, so and then I was like, oh, damn it, <laughs> so then I started talking to these, uh, people next to me, but, I mean, they were really nice people, um, the one, the one woman, like, when we were talking, like, getting to know each other, she was, like, she's, she's, like, 30-something, and she looked like she was, like, 17, and she, like, I didn't believe in it, so she was just like, oh, I have two kids, and I was like, BS, like, you look like you're 17, and it was just funny, and then all this drunk, and then the other girl was like, oh, I'm just a brand new girl, freshman, I just came here, and she's, like, 18, or whatever, and crap, so... It was just like, oh, whatever, so I got to know these people, added them on Facebook and all this junk, so whenever I have homework to do, I guess we can all chill. And, um, it was pretty cool, because we were talking about our backgrounds, and that girl was like, oh, I'm Dominican and Peruvian, and I said, you're kidding me, because that's my, I'm Dominican and Peruvian, and she was like, oh, really? And I'm like, yeah, and I, I never find anybody that's, like, those same two countries like me. And, um, it was nice, and we had a nice chat, and then I told Victoria my story for today, and she got a little jealous. She was like, "Er, did you tell them you had a girlfriend? And I'm like, oh, they'll see that on my Facebook page. And she's like, uh, oh, you should have told them that you had a girlfriend, and all this junk, but... It was pretty funny and chill, but other than that, um, that was pretty much my day, first day of school, it was pretty funny, and, um, that, so, like, my Wednesday classes are going to be, uh, intro to literature for the first, uh, for my, as my first class, then my three-hour break, and then, uh, U.S. History 2, so, um, I should be doing good. Tomorrow I get to start, tomorrow's my psychology class and Spanish class, which my mom really hates that I took Spanish, because she's like, you already speak Spanish, take something interesting, like French or German or something interesting, but, you know, obviously I'd have to read more and do more work. So, whatever. Anyways, that's so that's the end of the video, guys. I didn't want a really long video, so... Um, yep, that's pretty much it while I was doing my, uh, livid farm. And, uh, I don't know when I'll be able to make another new video, because tomorrow I'm literally coming home, showering, and then going to work, and then the same thing on Friday, basically, so... Uh, I'm gonna be offline RS for a while, but, eh, you know, school's first, and school's important, guys. Stay in school. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm done with corny jokes. Uh, bye-bye, everybody.